Neil Gaiman begins the book of Coraline with a G.K. Chesterton quote to the effect of the value of fairy tales is not that they teach us that there are dragons, but that they show us that dragons can be beaten. And I suppose I wouldn't mind so much if little children took that message home from Coraline. You know, I th when I first was approached about doing this project, I was very intimidated by the thought of in embodying a nine-year-old. But once we got up on our feet and actually started working on it, I found it um, kind of uh, delightful and easy to remember what it feels like to be nine. I think for me, Coraline is all about imagination. It's all about trusting your imagination. The audience, Coraline, it's the theme of the story. Believe in yourself, believe in your ideas. It's good to be a precocious little girl. That's the part that I really <laughs> responded to. And also someone who develops uh, both a confidence in herself and also courage and demonstrates yeah. courage to herself, which gives her more confidence. And she also develops great warmth and affection for those who, at a certain point in the story, grow to depend on her. And when she starts out, she's never put together the, the notion of what it is to do a brave act. But in the course of this story, uh, events take a very nasty turn and she's forced to um, really learn what it is to sacrifice and to um, face her fears and um, face the demons that are in her path in order to uh, save the people she loves. And um, it's magnificent story and it's extraordinary because it's a child that is so brave. I mean, she's a great little hero. It's a very magical story and it's, and it's a scary story which is kind of, was really a, a lot of fun about it. It's, uh, I would call it, delightfully frightening. And, um, and we agreed that we'd like to realize this in a way, again, not dependent on automation, but one that was uh, called for a certain kind of theatrical resourcefulness. Mm -hmm. In both in design and in, in staging and, and even in casting. In musicalizing Coraline, I had to take text such as the names of the dogs, Hamish, Andrew, Jock, Angus, and Bruce, and make them make rhythmic, metric sense uh, to be set in the middles of songs. So we have a very fast song in which two characters are saying, meet Hamish, Andrew, Jock, Andrew, and Bruce. And I struggled with that order for hours, doing all the possible combinations in the course of writing the song. And I made a chart of uh, which things could and could not follow each other. So it has taken years to do this play, and I um, hope it will run for years and years, and maybe forever.